Oh, what is going on, YouTube? I'm back with another YouTube video. In this YouTube video, we're gonna be talking to Michael Porter G. Um, and how I see him, guys. So, let's get into it. Guys, the view's gonna be different because I'm at my grandma. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, I see Michael Porter Jr. not playing his first. His first um season. Um and the reason why that is guys is because he got hurt in college. Um he got hurt. Um so he I mean I don't see him playing in the beginning of the season. I mean I still see him playing in his rookie year. But he ain't gonna come back till later. He ain't gonna play like right away. And the Denver Nuggets. That's all I'm gonna do. Denver Nuggets are gonna be a very good ass team. A very good team. Um Michael Porter Jr. is going to be good. He's not going to be good in his first year because he's just coming back from hurt, being hurt. Guys, and I'm in pain so bad. Not, like, really bad, guys. But I hurt. I had basketball, high school basketball. <laughs> it's a step up. It's a step up from middle school. A big step up. Um... But I like it. It's a challenge for me. I like it. So you all know I like to play basketball because I talk about basketball. So in this video, we're going to keep talking about Michael Porter Jr. So I don't see Michael Porter Jr. I mean, at first, before we all heard about his injury. Um, I thought he was going to be the best rookie in this, um, in this draft. But, and then the Chicago, there was some Chicago, ba Chicago Bulls fans out there that were mad that we didn't draft Michael Porter Jr. And I believe Michael Porter Jr., Plays a shooting guard, I believe. Either shooting guard or power forward or a small forward. One of those three. Um, so, we didn't need any of those. We didn't need no power forward. We got Lori Markkinen. We got Bobby Portis. Um, so, I don't know... And if we had a shooting guard, we had Denzel Valentine, and uh, we drafted Chandler Hutchinson. I'm not sure if he's still on the team yet, guys. Um, I believe he is. Um, so I believe he still is on there. Um. And we didn't need no, well, he wasn't no point guard. I already know that. Um, we didn't need no small forward. Um, we got, I believe, Zach Levine places small forward. And uh, as you all know, we got Barry Parker. The Chicago legend, or not the Chicago legend, <laughs> what the fuck did I say that, um, the Chicago man that grew up there, we are getting a lot of Chicago people that grew up in Chicago, we got Dewey Wade, who grew up in Chicago, he played for us, and now we're getting Jabari Parker, and D Wade was good on the Bulls, and I think Jabari, he's gonna be good too, cause he grew up in Chicago, he grew up in Chicago, um, so we really didn't need that, so 
we really didn't need to draft uh um uh, Michael Porter Jr. Um so I don't know why Bulls fans were hating on hating on our draft pick. You guys should see our roster now. We got Wendell Carter Jr. Which was something that we needed more than Michael Porter Jr. I'm not putting Robin Lopez down. But Robin Lopez wasn't a very good center. I mean, he will still go out in games and get us points. But um, he won't. He's not as good as Wendell Carter Jr. is. We drafted Wendell Carter Jr. And he's going to be our franchise center, I hope. And I think he will. And I think Zach Levine is going to be um, one of our good players, too. The Bulls have had a lot of good players. But a lot of them have went downhill. I mean, the only main player that... that that is still good that they've had play on their team is Jimmy B. Buckets. Well, I'm not going to say Jimmy B. Buckets. Well, I say that's what I call him because he gets buckets. Um, but his actual name is Jimmy Butler. Um, he's the main person that played on the Bulls and went to the Minnesota Timberwolves and is still a good player. But I don't see Jimmy Butler being on the Timberwolves for very long. But, guys, want to know something? If the Timberwolves do get those players back that all played on the Bulls except Boozer, I think that's his name, Boozer. Yeah, I believe that is his name. Because there's been talk, or, well, um, Luol Deng um, don't play on the Lakers anymore. He got opted, or he, uh... His contract went out, um, and there's been talk that they want to get uh, Luol Deng on there, and they want to get um, Joki Noah. Guys, stop hating on that. I know other people are going out there and saying, oh, well, that's going to be a bad team. No, it's not. I know they're trash now, but just, just watch and learn. All those players playing on the same team, and especially that coach being the same person, he's already that coach has already got. He's already he already knows what they can do and how they play. So that coach knows. A lot of those players that the Timberwolves got played together. Jamal Crawford played with Jimmy Butler. Taj Gibson played with Jimmy Butler. Um, I believe Jokey Noah played with Jim, Jimmy Butler. No, no, Jokey Noah didn't. No, Jokey Noah didn't. Um, Aaron Brooks played with Jimmy Butler. Um, so, um, yeah. Um, so we really didn't need to get. Michael Porter Jr. So guys, just stop hating on it. Or, or, just stop hating on it. Stop. We we didn't need to get Michael Porter Jr. I know, I understand why you guys want, what, really wanted to get Michael Porter Jr. But guys, he got hurt. He got hurt. And if he wouldn't have got hurt, yes, I think we would have taken him. I do think we would have taken him. But if I was the one, Denzel Valentine has been in the NBA quite a while. And hasn't, hasn't regressed into an all-star, all-star player. But Denzel Valentine can't be an all-star. He just has to get learn how to get into the gym and do that. But, alright guys, I'm out. Peace.